Okay, so I think this is probably the best way to start this video. Yesterday I played in, played in a Fortnite tournament. Here you go. We got third place. Uh, as you guys can see, I didn't stream it, didn't record it, didn't do nothing with it. So for the state of Fortnite, as you can see, we're gonna we're gonna do this video. We're gonna do a review on the new season, but do uh, warm up gameplay. Right. Yeah, cause I got a, I got a lot of things. Look, at, oh my god, this man is sweating. Holy crap, dude. Yo, chill, chill, my dude. Chill, chill, relax, relax, buddy. What is going on? It's just a warm up. All right, guys. So we're gonna start this video on a warm up because honestly, I don't play the normal game as much any anymore like I used to. Uh, I just don't find it fun anymore due to the changes. I mean, I've, sp I've spoken about that, but I, I did say I was going to drop a video on it. And, uh, what are my thoughts on the game right now? Cause the game for me is in a bad state. I know they want to bring it back, but dude, the way they dropped this anniversary was absolutely terrible. They nerfed the FOV. The aim assist nerf was actually a good nerf. Like, aim assist needed a nerf, man. Like, it really did. Like, aim assist was too strong. And it... And for, like, a player like me, honestly, it doesn't affect me. Like, I'm not gonna get affected by a nerf like that. Like, I could... I would adapt instantly. But... I know for some players, especially mobile players, it's really, really tough right now. But to be honest, like less aim assist, it's a good thing. Add for a higher skill gap. This dude is sweating his ass off. Oh. But yeah, my main problem is the FOV nerf. And I know it affected like the movement mechanics of the game like people probably don't understand that but nerfing an fov and making it so zoomed in will cause the game to look a lot slower than what it previously did if that makes sense so i noticed that they did they're doing they did something great like they made michelle so powerful that that really pushed me away from the game but they instantly nerfed her he instantly got nerfed. He's still strong as shit, though. I'll be honest with you. Like, this is stupid. Like, why should she have three tags? Like, and then look at the visual cluttering. Like, it's it's absolutely terrible. Like, why would why would they do this? Like, who thought that this was a good idea? Another thing that you guys probably will agree with and not agree with right like i don't think they should have uh removed respawns like why would they remove respawn like from the game like maybe like in for competitive like for competitive like no respawn it's kind of it's it's good for competitive like no respawn is good but for like normal gameplay, it's it's bad. Like the game is very, very like slow. It died. The game dies out quick. Like in order for that to work, you would have to have 60 of the players that you have in one lobby. At least 10 of them have to be bots. Which normally in my legend lobbies, I would get like 40. 40 to 45 real players but dude for that to work everybody has to be real and the map is the map is huge on top of that so it's like the pacing of the game feels off but like i said for like competitive it's good because you don't have teams just dropping in and griefing on you so i don't know if they did it for for competitive to be honest with you but it's just sad. It's sad that they don't really listen to what we request as a community and what we want to improve the game. They, one thing that frustrates me is they never showed love to us in NA. 
Like they've always just focused over there. Like in Asia, nothing against, you know, the Asia region, but it's like for us in competitive, we, we want that. We want something here, but it's like the state of the game right now. Like, I don't, I don't see that happening, man. And that's why, like, I'm kind of focusing on Bloodstrike right now. Bloodstrike is doing good. Like, their numbers are good. They made a really nice update for uh, for PC. And I'm absolutely loving that, to be honest with you. So, what I do plan is, I'm going to continue doing, like, uh, Bloodstrike content. Maybe I'll dabble here and there with Farlight. There is a $4,000 tournament coming to Blood uh, Bloodstrike for, that, for, like, the America region. But I'm like super interested in that. The whole team is interested in it, though. I have to sign up quick. And going back to the retirement thing, uh, it's still in the air. I don't know if I'll retire from like competitive after after the blood strike tournament. Like I would make my decision there. But it's still it's still in the air. So I'm just taking it day by day. I'm just kind of. I kind of kind of got really sad with what they did to Farlight, to be honest with you. Like, it just really upset me because I was having so much fun. I came back to the game. I felt like the game was so, so good the last, like, last season. Like, yeah, controller was broken and so, so was, like, the mobile aim assist. Like, I mean, you guys know I play on controller on Farlight and I play on mouse and keyboard on uh, Bloodstrike. And controller on here was just absolutely broken, but like it's balanced now. If they just did some few adjustments, for example, like not make characters like May so powerful and not nerf the FOV, the game would be in such a great state. Cause visually it's a lot better. It's so much better visually. Like I like the hit markers. The looting system is cool. Like it's better. No, the only problem with the looting system is that to shield swap, it's it's an issue for me. Like I have to like actually go in the box and open it in order to shield swap. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I my main focus right now for content will be blood strike, not farlight. I mean, if I do play in the side of playing a farlight tournament, I mean I'll post the content for it but my main focus right now is blood strike and i like the way blood where blood strike's heading like when i play in those legend lobbies man it's so fun because everybody's real i'm not fighting against bots at least 90 percent of my lobby is real like for example like i said in farlight normally my lobbies were like 45 real 45 to 40 to 45 of the players were real in my Farlight lobbies, but in Bloodstrike, dude, it's like, it's like, for example, in Shutter Island, I will have, let's say it's 48 players, right? These 45 of those 48 players are real. Like, I don't really run into bots in rank. And I love that. It makes it feel rewarding. I just wish they did some changes with rank and Bloodstrike where it's like, like ranking up is legitimate no like you won't get like bots in rank at all i mean i'm pretty sure the player count it's not high enough for something like that but i don't know it's just something i really would enjoy more i'll make it more challenging to grind to legend because grinding the legend and blood strike is actually kind of boring but once you get up there it's rewarding because you're fighting against the real players and that's what we want yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, Farlight is in a bad state. <laughs> I really would like for it to get better. This game is fun. Visually, it's fun. I love it. I ran into a tactical, <laughs> which I should have done that. But yeah, as you guys can see, I still still kind of got it, though. I barely play the game anymore. That's pretty much it. That's the end of this video. But you guys know I will be dropping more Blood Strike content. My retirement's still up in the air. Still indecisive. I have my days where I'm like, you know what? Like, I don't I don't want to compete anymore. And then I have my days where I'm like, I want to compete again. And yeah, see, I hate that. That's one of the reasons why I stopped playing Farlight.
because of that stupid May scan that's that stuns you. There's no way a scan should be able to stun you, man. That is just too overpowered. But alright, guys, that's pretty much it. I'm out.